What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today Bungie dropped their latest issue of this week at Bungie and within it we finally got a roadmap for the future content of Destiny. So Bungie's latest blog confirmed that there are going to be three different content releases that we can look forward to in the future of Destiny. So the first one is going to be a large content update and it's scheduled for the spring so it's going to be just a game update which probably means it's going to be free and it's just going to be another update to the game once that is released. However this one's going to be a lot bigger so the recent ones that we saw was the update in December with SRL and all the new exotics and then we got one this week with the Crimson Days event so this one's going to be another content update similar to that that we just have to download and it's going to have a bigger amount of content in it so they say that this content release will feature a significant light increase a bunch of new gear to earn and equip and new challenges for PvE players seeking some more fun experiences and replayability. So based on this excerpt right here, I think it's going to be a bunch of new stuff that we can look forward to. Uh, the main thing that's probably going to come in this is the new exotics that we haven't seen for the Taken King. The last few exotics that have been in the database that people were wondering where they were. And they're probably going to be added to the game within this one. Uh, maybe we'll see some other new exotics. So when they say new challenges, the first thing that came to mind was new quests like how we had to do quests for some of the exotics in the Taken King such as the sleeper simulant and the exotic swords and all those exotics that we had to earn through the quest lines but they also state that there's a significant light increase which means that we're gonna have to play a content in PvE that's gonna earn us loot to increase our light level from what it is currently so I'm guessing that it's going to be something even bigger than that. I'm excited for that. I'm glad it's going to be bigger than just quests and new stuff like that for exotics. So I'm hoping the, probably the best case scenario is a raid, but I'm not sure if that's going to be something that they would add in just like a usual update because that's kind of big for just an update that, that usually comes along with big like DLCs or expansions. So hopefully it's something along those lines since it is going to allow us to increase our light level. But I'm guessing it's going to be something that's going to be different just because they add replayability. Just like how they mentioned that Prison of Elders was replayable when that came out with House of Wolves. So hopefully it's something better than Prison of Elders since that kind of got a little bit stale really quickly. A lot of people stopped playing it after like the first week or so of House of Wolves and uh, just played like Trials and stuff. So hopefully it's something new that's very exciting and replayable and lasting till the next piece of content. So let me know in the comments what you guys think is going to come in this spring update. I think it's going to come around April I'm guessing so that's going to be something we can look forward to. I think March is a little bit too early. I'm hoping it's March because the sooner the better but uh, spring is probably going to be around April or maybe May at the latest so that's probably when that's going to come out. And then the next piece of content is going to be a large expansion coming out later this year and this one is probably going to be similar in size to the Taken King and I'm guessing it's gonna come out around fall when they say later this year um, so probably September since that is the month that they like to drop their big pieces of content so that one's probably gonna be similar to Taken King a really big expansion and we're probably gonna see a lot of stuff just like we saw in Taken King we're gonna see a new raid we're gonna see more strikes story missions all that stuff more PvP stuff and hopefully hopefully in this one we finally get um, private matches or custom matches in a Crucible so that would be very exciting I hope they bring this in before the sequel comes out um, that would be very exciting to look forward to for PvP as well so that one's probably gonna come out around September I'm guessing and we'll get more information about it in E3 probably is going to be the biggest announcement of this larger expansion since that's when they announced Taking King uh, last year at E3 they announced Taking King with that trailer so they're probably going to do the same thing for this large expansion as well. So that's another exciting thing we can look forward to. And then finally the last piece of content is going to be the full sequel of Destiny. So Destiny 2 is going to be coming out in 2017 so next year is the official release of the sequel to Destiny. And that's very exciting. Everyone thought they had a plan laid out where it's going to be a new sequel or a new game every two years. 
and they're announcing that it's going to be coming out in 2017 so I'm guessing that it probably did get delayed even though they didn't technically announce that Destiny 2 was coming out this year but I think it did get a little bit delayed due to the issues that they're having at Bungie and that's why they had to get a new CEO and all that stuff so they probably had to delay it a little bit but the longer they delay it or the longer they take on making it the better it should be so that's exciting at least we got a bunch of new stuff to look forward to in between especially with this large expansion coming out later this year so the sequel is probably coming out around the beginning of 2017 I think that's the best time period to release the sequel especially if there's nothing in between this large expansion and uh, the sequel of the game so I think they should release it around the first few months so January through March is probably the best and they're probably gonna announce more stuff at the end of this year for that sequel as well so a lot of good stuff to look forward to I'm really excited I'm finally happy that we got some announcements of new content it's been a little bit dry in terms of information as of the past few months and a lot of people have been getting really antsy and finally we can look forward to new content so I'm really excited for all this new content let me know what you guys think thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and I will catch you guys in the next one peace